Hey everybody, it's Christine, and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm here to do my weekly wrap-up. Um, I didn't get it done yesterday. I've been kind of MIA. I have not watched any videos. I have not commented on anybody. I have not replied to any comments, and I'm sorry for that. Um, I've been kind of overwhelmed with um, life. <laughs> It, I tend to get like this at the end of the school year. Like my daughter is graduating grade eight this year. Um, she's in Pathfinders, so it's been busy with camping. And my son's had a few things to do, and my husband with his work, it's kind of not going that great. So I've been kind of, I just took a step back for a bit. Um, I'm hoping to get back this week. Um, I'm also trying to get my Etsy shop going. Um, it's always been there. I just have not added to it because of stress and a little bit of depression. And But yesterday was a holiday and I spent cutting out a bunch of patterns. So we'll see. But on to the um, wrap up. Uh, what happened to it? We finished reading, uh, my son and I finished reading Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes by R.L. Stein. Um, it's about a father who loves his lawn ornaments and gets two gnomes and they come to life. And very funny. Um, my son loved it. Um, I do different voices, so he had a ball with that one. Um, me personally did not read a whole bunch this week because of that. Um, the stress but I read Dead After Dead Ever After by Charlene Harris and this was book two, this was the end um, book 13 there's two short ones afterwards and I'm waiting for the one it's after dead from the library they lost it and the electronic one is not available either so I don't know what I'm gonna do uh, but this one is, yeah, the finale. So I gave it a four. I like the previous book a lot better. And then I read Hit and Run by Lurleen McDaniel. Um, I did have the book, but my daughter decided she wanted to read it. So she took it to school with her today. And it's about four teenagers intertwined yet not intertwined. And one gets hit by a car. And she ends up in a coma, and that was Annalise. The other, um, her boyfriend is Jeremy, and then there's two others, Lori and Quinn. And they're, um, I actually got teary-eyed. It was a, a four-star book for me. Uh, yeah, it was, you kind of get sucker punched at the end. Um, but yeah, it's, they're all intertwined, and... It's hard to describe without giving away too many details. It was it was a good book. It's under 200 pages. And it's worth the, the quick read. What I'm currently reading is The Undomestic Goddess by Sophie Kinsella. Um, I'm not very far through it. And it, it's been quite funny so far. So this is what I needed. Books like this. Um, yeah, I, I definitely needed this. And it's, uh, she's a lawyer who does something bad. And I'm just getting to the bad part right now. But it's, I mean, I understand how lawyers can do this, but I don't understand how they can do it. Um, there's so much pressure on these people to do so many things. And their home life gets so... Um, put off to the side like they have no personal life at all and it's just I would not be able to do that nope so then my daughter um, got a book from school and this has been on my want to read for quite a while but she she got teary eyed and she actually sped through it and wants me to read it now and that's 13 reasons why by Jay Asher I'm sure everybody knows what it is but it's about uh, is it the girl that commits suicide and leaves a bunch of um, tapes about 13 tapes of why she did it. I think that's what it is. Um, sorry, I'm a little, I'm still a little frazzled. Then I'm going to, uh, currently reading um, for my son, 
is How I Met My Monster by R.L. Stein. And so far it's just um, a boy and his best friend Lisa um, meet this new kid that moves into their building. And his name is... Um, well, Noah's the boy that meets the uh, Harlan. That's it. No, Harlan's the bad kid. Monroe. That's what it is. And we haven't gone very far yet into it, so I don't know what is supposed to happen. Then I'm probably going to... Um, as some of you may not know, I'm obsessed with the Titanic. Um, I ended up doing a, a college report on Titanic and got like an A-plus on it. But I'm going to be reading this middle grade series. Just It's called Titanic. Book one is Unsinkable. And they're all by Gordon Corman. Unsinkable, Collision Course, and SOS. And I'm not sure if it just goes through the life of the Titanic with like um, fictional characters on it. But I've seen it and anything Titanic I'll read. And uh, my, I got this for my husband because he's part German, but it's like a joke in in the the family, or not the family, but in our little thing. But he liked it, and it's Mouse by Art Spiegelman. And I thought our library only had part one, and it turns out that they had the full bind up. So he read it and and thought it was a neat idea with the cats and the rats or mice, sorry, the cats being the Nazis, the mice being the Jews, and like the personal story. So he thought it was a, a good, a good story. So I'm going to be reading that. And I think that might be it. Um, the middle grades shouldn't be, it shouldn't take me too long to read as their middle grades and their Titanic. So I think that's it for the weekly wrap up. I'm just going to be doing some sewing and and stuff so if you've made a comment I'll try and get to them today tomorrow um, but just be aware that if I don't get back to you it's not because I'm ignoring you it's because I'm stressed <laughs> and going through some things so I hope everybody has an awesome day thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later bye